Hi boys and girls, welcome to our math activity. So for today's math activity, we are going to be playing attributes. Now we play attributes a lot of times in small math groups. So try and think and remember how we play it in school. If you remember, we had that little Superman guy and he has a rainbow on him for sorting by color and he has shapes on him by sorting by shapes and a ruler on his stomach for sorting by size. So we're gonna do that, but we're gonna do it a little differently because we're not at school. So you can find any objects in your house that you want. You can choose anything that works, things from the kitchen, like food, things around the house, like candles or anything that would work in different colors and sizes. So we're gonna first start by sorting by colors, okay? So we're gonna start by sorting by color. So I have a bunch of random things. I have a banana from the kitchen, a lemon from the kitchen, a tomato from the kitchen, a candle, smells so good, a sponge and a dish soap or a dish um, towel. So I have all these random items that I found around my house. You guys can do the same thing around your house or you can use math manipulatives that you may have at your house, but I have to go to school to get some math manipulatives. So for right now, I just have a bunch of random objects and food from my house. So let's get started by sorting by color. So I see a couple different colors here in my random assortment of things. The first color I see is yellow and I see I have a yellow lemon and a yellow banana a yellow lemon and a yellow banana. So these are both yellow, so I'm gonna put them over here. Hmm. Looking at my pile, I see two more colors. I see red and I see pink. So I'm gonna grab the pink things and I'm gonna put them here. A pink candle and a pink sponge. And now I have one more color left. It's the color red. So I'm gonna put my red objects over here. So I sorted all my objects by color. I have yellow, pink, and red. What colors do I have? What color is this? Yellow, good. What about this? Pink, good. What about this? Red, good. Okay, so I sorted by color. Now, and you can use any sort of thing to put the things on. It can be plates or napkins or um, these are placemats, anything you have. So now I'm gonna take them off kind of mix them up and now I sort it by color and now I think I'm gonna sort by size. So I think maybe this is pretty big and this is pretty big. So I'm gonna put this over here in the big pile. These are the big things. And now, so I have big and now I'm gonna sort by things that are medium shaped. So not small, not big, but medium in the middle. Hmm. The banana's pretty big, but not too big. And the sponge is pretty big, but not too big. And they're just about the same size. So I would say that they're the middle. They're medium size. And lastly, big, medium, these guys are kind of small. They fit in my hand, they're kind of small. So they're gonna go over here in the small pile. So I have my small items, my lemon and my tomato, my medium items, my banana and my sponge, and my large items, my candle and my dish towel, okay? So I sorted by color and I sorted by shape. Now, I want you guys to do this at home with any random things you can find in your house. And maybe while you're doing this, you can really kind of feel them and describe their texture, like the sponge, it's a little bit wet and it feels kind of rough. The banana is smooth. This is kind of bumpy, but it's round. What shape is it? It's round. This is smooth, right? This is soft. What about smell? This smells good. This smells like soap, not too good, but fine. All right, so sort by, see if you can sort by color and size today, all right? And that is our attribute game for our math activity, sorting by colors and by size. All right, boys and girls, hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna see you doing attributes at home with random things in your house. Bye, friends.